Now, because action was not taken against some of these Fulani guys who, you know, started a problem in Igongo, that is uh, in uh, Ibarakwa local government in or, or, or your state, now they have the guts to come out and begin to speak to say that, uh, you know, uh, they should persecute those who uh, started the Igongo uh, crisis, those perpetrators. You know, they have the guts to begin to say that, yes, the Fulanis are the ones saying that the government crisis perpetrators, that they must be persecuted. Who are they trying to call out? Because what he's saying indirectly is saying that, you know, uh, uh, Sunday Igbohu must be persecuted. That is what he's saying indirectly. If you don't understand, yes, that is exactly what he's saying. Because he is now saying that he's the perpetrator of the crisis in Igongo. Because really, when that crisis started, it started as headsmen coming around, killing people in their farmland and doing all sorts of things to them. Nobody heard about it. But when Sunday Igbohu came out and began to fight back at these guys, that was when it looked like there was a crisis. And now, imagine uh, 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 Fulan is coming out to say that those who actually perpetrated the crisis in the Gogo must be persecuted. Well, it should be let known that it was the Fulanis who started the crisis and they should be the ones who should be persecuted. Because this is an indirect language saying that Sunday Igbohu should be persecuted. Anyway, I'll, we'll get into the details of this shortly, but please ensure you have subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. Please guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get updated always anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, right here. He says that the Fulani residing in Kwara State have asked the federal government to investigate, arrest, and persecute the perpetrators of the crisis in Igongo or your state to serve as deterrent to others. They also condemn the attack on the settlement of Sakin, Fulani of Igongo, and other Fulani settlements in the southwest. The Fulani made their position known in a communique issued at the end of a meeting of joint Fulani associations in Kwara State on Tuesday, February 23rd. The communique signed by Alhaji Suli Al Fulani Bube, Chairman, and Halaji Saliu Hamert, Secretary, read in part We have discovered that all the allegations leveled against Sakin Igogo are false. We equally urge the federal government to investigate the attacks on the settlement of Sakin Fulani Igongo and all other Fulani settlements in the southwest state and bring the culprits to book. Earlier I told you that these guys are totally after Sunday Igbohu. Yes, and obviously you can see what they are saying. That they are saying that uh, all those who started you know, the crisis in Igogo, that they should be served, you know, a deterrent. They should be served as deterrent to others. And also, they condemn the attack on the settlement of Sakin Fulani of Igongo. That is the leader of uh, the Fulanis in Igongo. Of course, it is condemnable, you know, for uh, uh, attack on the Sakin. That is the Fulani head. It is not good. But really, when they started, why did they not call the Fulanis who started this to other? That is why there's a leader of that group in that community. If any community is facing hardship, the leaders can go ahead to speak on behalf of them. And whatever crisis they are facing with other uh, groups in that community can be equally resolved. But saying now that uh, others should be persecuted and should be served as deterrent to others, it is not a wise word to say at this time because there's already a crisis on ground. So coming out to now speak about what is going on and, uh, you know, those who, who took part in the crisis thing should be persecuted and all of that. Because for every word that they have spoken here, it equally shows that they felt that the Fulanis are oppressed. Yes, obviously showed here that the Fulanis are oppressed because the first thing they said, they said all those they should condemn the attack on the settlement or sack in Fulani. It did not just start from there because when you want to solve a problem, you first of all look, when you want to give a solution to a problem, you first of all look how that problem started, what caused the problem so that you can prefer a good solution to it. Yes, because they did not start from the problem. They are going, they are looking for a solution. They don't even know what the problem is. Or perhaps they are not looking into the problem at all to know the kind of solution to give to the problem. Because when the crisis started, they should understand that the Fulani started the crisis. And later on, when the Yorubas took over, it became a full-blown crisis in that community. 
So at the end of it, saying that uh, the, the, the attack on the settlement of Sakin, Fulani of Igongo and others should be uh, persecuted, then you are trying to say that what they did before, because something happened before, you know, the, the attack on that settlement. Something happened. They killed a lot of farmers in their farms. They, they, they destroyed their crops and all of that. And these guys only retaliated. And are you now saying that those who retaliated should face the law and those who caused the problem should walk freely? Because I don't seem to understand why they are bent on saying that those who attack the settlement should actually face persecution. Those who now started the problem in the first place, what should be done to them? Because when they speak, they should first of all think about what was the cause of the problem, what actually started it, and what happened that these guys retaliated that got to the extent where the uh, sacking uh, uh, settlement was actually destroyed? Because people will not just wake up in the morning and begin to ferment trouble and cause trouble. It is the Fulanis who started this and they were only giving back. And that it was when Sunday Igbo went to that community and actually asked them to, you know, leave because they don't want to live peacefully with others in that very community. But of course, they also issued a statement in a communique and said that that meeting that they have actually ha agreed and they said they have discovered that all the allegations leveled against Saki and Gongo are false. They gathered their own information and they came back to tell us that all of this information that was gathered about the Saki was actually false. But they can believe that others, oh, people like Sunday Igboho, was it was true that he attacked them. He only warned them and told them to leave if they cannot live peacefully with other people. Yes, so coming out to speak all of this should shouldn't even be allowed in the first place. They should I remember when Sunday Boho told them if you are saying that not all Fulanis are killers, then prove to us and bring those who are the perpetrators out. Help us fish them out. If you feed them out, it's only going to be easy for everybody because everyone will begin to understand that, yes, these are the people who caused the trouble in the first place. Let us deal with them. Then everybody would understand. And it would be much more easier for everybody to deal with. But saying that uh, those who actually destroyed uh, the sacking settlement should be dealt with, it did not start from there. Let us always learn to handle issues from the top. Let us not go to the middle or start from the bottom. Let us start from the top. Let us know the height of the problem so that we can know how to deal with it so really it should not be encouraging anyway when these guys come out and begin to speak but they have said their mind but and what exactly will the government do about it because they wrote to the federal government let's wait and see and keep our finger crossed and see what the federal government is going to reply and do so guys whatever you have to say please drop it in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now